Now that we've made our markings on the strips, we're going to make holes in them where our points are, and then we'll be ready to put the metal fasteners through them so that we'll have a, have a place to, um, to hold the string that's going to be woven from the top to the bottom. So I'm using a very thin skewer, the point of a skewer that goes through, but it doesn't make a very big hole, so I'm not too uh, worried about ripping the, ripping the strips of paper. So I go ahead and make the holes. There should be four holes in each strip and they should be evenly spaced and symmetrical, each one with the other. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the fasteners and put them through. Now it's important that the corrugated side, the side with the, the ripples in it, is going to be on the outside. Now the reason why I'm using these fasteners is because I just wanted to go through the, the corrugated paper and not have to go through the metal can. And these fasteners are great for that because once I put them in, I can just go ahead and separate the ends and it holds together, it, hold, it, it attaches onto the strips, so I don't have to worry about having to go through the metal can. Then I can just go ahead and attach the strips onto the metal can, which is a lot easier than trying to um, make holes into the can itself. So I go ahead and just fasten, put the fasteners onto the strip, and I open up the, the ends to, um, to make them stay onto the strips. And now I have a way to put the string around these fasteners and weave it from the top strip to the bottom strip. Also the fasteners come in different colors. I purposely chose gold because it makes the project, it's going to make it look a lot nicer. These, these fasteners come in clear plastic or black, but for our project it wouldn't look as nice as if um, in, instead of the, uh, using the gold. So I purposely chose the gold, so you should keep that in mind when you go ahead and buy these fasteners. So I've shown you how to put the fasteners to the strips. These fasteners are going to hold the string that go from top to the bottom, and now we're ready to attach them.